ゃんゃんゃんゃんゃんゃんゃんゃんゃんゃんゃんゃんゃんゃんゃんゃんゃんゃんゃんゃんゃんゃんゃんゃんゃんゃんゃんゃんゃんゃんゃんゃんゃんゃんゃんゃんゃんゃんゃんゃんゃんゃんゃんゃんゃんゃんゃんゃんゃんゃんゃんゃんゃんゃんゃんゃんゃんゃんゃんゃんゃんゃんゃんゃんゃんゃんゃんゃん What? Really? How are they supposed to act? Dressing up as a bat and hanging out in a cave? Yes, cause I'm Batman. Well, you're just jealous because your new movie is gonna be pushed back till 2016 and my movie just made over billion dollars. Plus, I got a new watch. It's limited edition. What up, big kids? Here's your big review of the Iron Man 3 Hot Toys Tony Stark the Mechanic Movie Masterpiece 1 6 scale collectible figure site to exclusive. Here we got the packaging of the secret agent man, Tony Stark, or at least what I call him. Has the Sideshow Edition sticker on it since this is the Sideshow Collectibles.com exclusive. Really nice picture. It says Iron Man 3 Tony Stark MMS 209 1 6 scale collectible figure Hot Toys Movie Masterpiece logo. One side of the box continues that same picture Tony Stark with this kind of blue wrapping going around it. The other side not only continues that, but it says Iron Man 3, Tony Stark, MS 209. Back of the box continues that same pattern. It has a big old warning label. Warning you want to choke on your Tony Stark. You might have a panic attack. The top and bottom of the box says Marvel Iron Man 3. And when you actually open up the box, you get this cool little insert of Tony with all the gadgets he had on the bed before he made the mansion a break in. It says, you can take away my suits. You can take away my home. But there's one thing you can never take away from me. I am Iron Man. Oh yeah, and it has little credits of all the people who made the figure. And then when you pull this away, you get the clear plastic tray of the figure with all of his accessories. Well, there's something wrong with my car, so I better call the mechanic. Here we got the Iron Man 3 Hot Toys, the mechanic Tony Stark 1-6 scale collectible movie masterpiece figure. This figure is part Tony Stark, part Iron Man, part Secret Agent Man, all awesome. Let's take a closer look at it. Now this is our second Tony Stark in the Iron Man 3 line. And this one is a really awesome figure. It's actually one of my top 25 figures of 2013 from Hot Toys. And this figure uh, is amazing. Now the head sculpt um, is pretty much a retool of the first Tony Stark, the workbench version. You can see he does have all the blood and bruises that uh, we saw him when he was escaping the Mandarin's mansion. You can see that detail on there. Just absolutely amazing with that blood and just like wow just amazing detail and I love the the hair the paint apps are just superb they're freaking amazing and um yeah one, one thing that I love about this figure is that his hoodie is really awesome I like how the hood fits on him really nicely you know it's not too big not too small it's just right and looks so cool and it zips up really good. You actually have to take off this hood to remove some plastic that comes out of here. By the way, underneath here he is wearing the AIM um, shirt that he comes with that we saw him in the movie. Very cool, advanced, ideal uh, mechanics. So I like that and the functioning zipper, real pockets he has in here. And he has zippers right here. Now this is actually an accessory that I'm going to show off right here. This is his stun, um, stun glove, I guess that he was called really amazing detail on here just so exquisite just how they did that right here just the paint abs like all the little wires in here it's just so freaking cool the working zippers on there you can zip this up really good like no problem and I love his jeans on here the tailoring on these jeans are just just a masterpiece I mean wow just real working pockets all around this is so freaking cool. I love the shoes. Nice little sneakers and has dirt all in them. I really like it a lot and other Tony Stark just fell in there. Tony, just love that. This outfit is so freaking cool. Another accessory is that he does come with a limited edition a watch. It doesn't have the Dora Explorer logo on it as you can see here. But it is, you know, I'm guessing because of licensing reasons. But it is a limited edition, which is very cool, and you can put it on there. It even comes with spare stickers in case you lose them, which is great. This mechanic Tony Stark is pretty much the same head sculpt as the uh, workbench Tony Stark. In fact, it's the same body, just pretty much different outfits, plus all the blood bruises that he has here. And the reason why he has the same body is for... Um, some accessories that I'll show here in a bit. For articulation, Tony Stark's head can fully rotate, can also pivot side to side, can go up that much, and can go down that much. Uh, the arms um, can actually fully rotate. The jacket is movable enough where you can fully rotate it, uh, in the, and you can go in and out that much. Um, 
uh, you can kind of semi rotate it, you know, on the shoulder semi, but it does bend at the elbow 90 degrees and as well as rotate at the elbow because it's the same body as the original one. Uh, the wrist can rotate it as well as go in and out. Um, he does have the upper ab crunch, you know, that can go forward and back and pivot side to side. He does have the nice waist articulation that rotates. Uh, his legs can go forward and back, uh, in and out, uh, almost do the splits. Uh, rotate the part leg, bend at two points at the knee and his ankles fully rotate, pivot forward and back, and he has an ankle pivot. This Tony Stark does have a light-up feature. It actually is hidden underneath right here, just like in the same spot that the other Tony Stark is. But if you just fill it around like right there, the switch flips up and you can see it lights up right there, which actually lights up pretty bright. It's just hard to see because it's, it's white. But if you turn off the lights right there, boom, there it is. Yeah, it's nice and bright. Really cool little arc reactor thing that it has right there. Tony comes with tons of accessories including very detailed instructions on how to do all his accessories and how to place all the things on his backpack and yeah, how to change out the batteries and his arms. He comes with six ungloved hands, like he has some relaxed glove hands. He has that hand that you saw there with the stun gun, a gun hand, which is an accessory. He has two hands for holding um, his guns. He has also two hands for holding um, different accessories he comes with. And he comes with extra wrist pegs in case you break them. He comes with this pair of aviator sunglasses that are really nice. I really fit on his head really nicely. He comes with this amazing nail gun that is just wow the paint apps on there is just whoa <laughs> just freaking sweet man i mean wow this thing is so freaking cool uh I, I just love that when he used this in this movie he comes with this backpack that he used that um has a real working uh latch right there and really nice tailoring it has real working zippers and pouches everything he has a ton of little stuff on here so i'll try to show him one by one of and I'm trying to have it on the backpack as much as I can. He comes with a little ornament bomb that you can place right here. It stays on really nicely. You just tie it there. He comes with his little taser um, that he used on that one guy. Really cool. I like that. Uh, he comes with real working pliers. These things are so cool how they actually open up for reals and you can close them up. Comes with that little syringe bomb. Looks like real liquid on here. This thing is tiny but it's so freaking detailed blows my mind. Uh, he comes with this little uh, ornament or uh, like this little rope thing that he took down that guy that you can tie in there on the backpack. So it's really awesome. And the last little bit here that you can put on that backpack is this newspaper. You can actually fold it and open it up. It's just one sided though but it does say Tony Stark is missing trying to open this up here. It has kind of words on there but I couldn't tell they're so freaking tiny but it, it looks like a real newspaper on one side. It's the world Pot news? Yeah, I guess. I thought it said pot for a second. It's like, what? Or bot. World bot news? Huh, bot news. Anyway, so yeah, really cool. It also comes with this little machine gun, which has some really nice paint apps on it. It also has a removable magazine clip with the bullets you can see right inside. I wish he came with a pistol, though, that he used on the Mandarin, but whatever. Or Trevor. It comes with the headset that he used uh, to control the Mark 42. This one's a little different because it has a little, like, target thing on it has that same nice detail and fits overhead. Plus he comes with this augmented reality um, little screen, you know, like what we always see throughout the Iron Man movies. Like what he, it has some really cool details on here for being a clear little plastic uh, screen. But yeah, you can place this overhead. You place this one first, then you place this one over and this one over, place it just like that. And then you place this one uh, which you kind of squeeze over and make sure not to break it. And there you got him like when he's controlling the Mark uh, 42. Very cool. You can use this on the Workman's Tony Stark too or any uh, Tony Stark for the most part. What's also awesome, you get some interchangeable uh, Mark 42 pieces which this uh, arm bit which you switch out just like the Workbench Tony Stark has some amazing detail. This one is more the bow damage version. You can see even as I have the the wrist cover yet but this one has the articulated fingers and lights up and see here has the switch and you can light it up it has the articulated fingers which is awesome what's cool about this you also have swappable hands you have this other hand that can also light up and it's more for a repulsor blast look and it has even the 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 wrist guard that um, is more meant to be slanted so that's really cool and then of course you get the bow damage uh, left leg piece that also has some amazing detail on it on the wiring and just paint apps are just killer I'm just like 
freaking love this thing and uh, it comes with the boot piece that also has amazing detail. Now switching out the arm you have to pull this out just like the workbench Tony Stark. You just there you have it with the arm. Now what's cool just like the workbench one it is a magnet on here so that's cool if you want to like kind of like whoop it just went on him. For the leg piece it's the same thing like the workbench you have to take out the, the boot right here and you have this little tool that um, you use to tuck in the pants right here so you can pull this in. It can be a little tricky to put in it's not the most fun to do but if you get it just right it won't be all crumpled up big armor on tony stark uh, just be very careful it could be a little tricky on there and you don't want to break it but then you get a little bit more articulation get like an ankle pivot for the back and you get a little toe articulation in this back flap uh, goes up too. You get the standard Hot Toy stand says Iron Man 3 on the top, a Tony Stark the Mechanic with adjustable cradle. Now since this is a Sideshow exclusive you get this extra homemade repulsor that he used um, on that Salvin guy in, uh, back in like that little town. Uh, it's really pretty good detail. I like that it has the little arc right there it's like the triangle. Cool that Hot Toys did uh, you put this wrist part first and then you can actually remove this part and it attaches like that so that way you don't have to worry about trying to squeeze it in there and break it uh, so it looks really cool once it's in there. Where is he? Where's the Mandarin? Oh bloody hell hate to break it to you Jen but the Mandarin is not real. I'm an actor. What? No! 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 no. I hate actors like Ben Affleck, can you imagine if he played Batman? Oh, I bet you never saw that coming. I didn't, but I don't like change. <laughs> Size comparison time. So here you can see that the mechanic Tony Stark is in great skill with other Hot Toys figures like the Workbench Tony Stark from Iron Man 3 and the Joe Colton from G.I. Joe Re Retaliation. And this is my good buddy J.R.A. Nimer would say this figure is full of fun factor. This figure is just so much fun to literally play with. Uh, you have so many awesome accessories. You have so many different looks. You have a lineup feature. You have an amazing likeness to Robert Downey Jr. Uh, you have the interchangeable pieces to make have him in the Mark 42 armor bits and uh, it's just so many cool things about this figure I mean he's pretty much almost as good as the other one just minus having like the diorama pieces you know for his workbench and this figure is cheaper than that one uh, uh, now if you want the repulsor piece get this from sideshowcollectibles.com uh, that's an exclusive link is in the description otherwise the regular version you can also get from sideshow or alterugocomics.com uh, if you missed out on the first uh, Tony Stark figure uh, this one if you don't mind the uh, uh, the, the bloody um, like head sculpt then you have like a really awesome looking really fun Tony Stark figure with so many great accessories and I absolutely have a I really love this figure it's it's just so much fun and I have a blast with it and I highly recommend it even uh, this retails for about like 215 so I think that price with everything you're getting I think it's well worth it I highly recommend it um, and you can win your own Hot Toys um, Mandarin and uh, Power Post Mark 42 as well as maybe Hot Toys Dark Knight uh, Batman Armory or Batman Robin from the classic TV series or PS4 or Nintendo Wii U enter my 100,000 subscriber contest link in the description um, and also check out hugenerd.net and my website seanxlong.com I'm Sean Long remember to live long and love life where does he get those wonderful toys? he gets them at alterigocomics.com excuse me he was saying he gets them at alterigocomics.com <laughs> For the latest in hot toys, sideshow collectibles, replicas, and more, visit alteregocomics.com. They take PayPal, pre-order, and they lowest prices on the net. Lowest price for hot toys. You must be joking. Do I look like I'm joking? Check out bkpn.net. Jason David Frank, Tommy the Green Ranger. <laughs> hey Trevor, what time is it? Adventure time? No, no. Um, I really want to know what time it is. I lost my watch. Oh, sorry about that, but uh... I sold it for drugs. What? Yeah. That was a limited edition. Yeah. I bought a lot of drugs with it. That's it. Mark 42, you know what to do. You can take away my suits. You can take away my home. But you do not take away my Dora. She's an explorer.